Hab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be playing around in Terminal, um, Command Prompt, whatever, using WinGit. So I have this, uh, the WinGit website, it's Microsoft, I'll put that in the description below for you all, because there's a lot of commands, as you can see, um, with what your query is going to be. All right, here we go. So as you see, there is quite a lot of options, so we're not going to cover them all, this is just an introduction. Um, this is a great way um, or item to use in Command Prompt to basically just upgrade your, all your applications on your computer. You know, you can go into the systems, uh, the OS settings, and go to upgrade or update. And, I mean, it's alright, um, but sometimes it's not going to find every app, so then when you launch the app, it's like, oh, hey, look, there's an update available, but it's like kind of annoying because sometimes it's like, well, I'm obviously opening this program because I want to use it now. Now I have to sit here and wait. So this is kind of something that's great to do. Uh, a lot of businesses will use this because it's just simple. It makes sure everything's up to date. Um, so let's open uh, Command Prompt here. And basically what we're just going to do is, once it's loaded, we're just going to type in win git. So we're going to start with simple. That way if you uh, don't uh, want to go to the website, this gives you kind of uh, some of the following commands that are available. And uh, obviously there's a lot more. The website has more details. This is kind of more of like, I guess, more commonly used ones. So another thing we're going to do is we're going to do win git space upgrade. Pretty simple. Um, obviously, depending on how much stuff you have on your computer, what, you know, how much RAM, all that kind of stuff, just how good your computer is and how much you have installed, it's going to vary. So as you see, it kind of hesitated there at uh, 0%, probably because it's just collecting a bunch of data, but now it's running through the checks. So that wasn't too bad. Um, a question that sometimes it will ask is, do you agree to all the source terms in the uh, Agreement terms, we're just going to put Y for yes, push enter, obviously if you push no, you're pretty much done. And this is where it's really going to take the longest, because now it's actually like doing the checks. It's, you know, checking to see if there is a new version based off where you downloaded it. That was actually surprisingly fast, I was surprised. Um, but it's showing me everything that basically um, I have installed on my computer that does need to be updated. It's not going to show you everything. If it's current, newest version, stable version at least, it's not even going to display it. So as you can see, like, oh, hey, look at that. Auto hotkeys. <laughs> I'm actually kind of behind on version 2 on that one. So 2.0.2 is what I currently have installed. It's telling me that there is version 2.0.18. So obviously uh, I'm a little bit behind on that one. You know, there's some other ones here, like, uh, that are way behind. Um, but yeah, basically you can go through, you see everything. You know, my PlayStation Remote Play is out of date by a lot, version 4 versus version 7. Um, but let's say I think, okay, everything on here looks good. I do want to update all this stuff. You know, even Google Chrome is a little bit behind, which is not surprising since they get updates, like, constantly. So what we can do is we can say, okay, everything looks good. Um, there are also, just to point out, three packages have version numbers that cannot be determined. Um, you can view them by just typing in when git dash dash include unknown. Um, and it'll show you, that way you can manually know where you got to go. And that could just be because the website's down, it doesn't really know where you got it from, maybe it was side-loaded onto your computer and then doesn't have some sort of data to really do it. You know, that would be example would be like auto hockey scripts. It's not going to know that my script was updated if it's not like publicly out there with the correct like version software, which is fine. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do win git. We're going to do dash dash upgrade. Um, actually, hold on. Sorry, we don't need to put those dashes there. It's win git upgrade. Now we do our query of what we want, which is dash dash. We're going to say all. This is basically saying everything that's on this list, let's do it. Once again, really depends on how much stuff you have, how big of the 
files are. But you're going to press enter and it's just going to slowly go through doing all these different things. I'm not going to do that right now just because this would probably, depending on how big this is, could take quite a while. Um, but that's fine. But yeah, you just push enter and it's just going to run, confirm, and you're good to go. Um, the Windows website actually kind of shows you a lot of like what like videos that's really helpful. Um, another thing that I like, here's the, actually the upgrade all uh, portion. Um, another thing that I do like that they point out is that um, some applications do not uh, provide versions. Um, that's important down here for upgrade uninstall previous. This is one I use a lot when I have a specific app where I'm like, okay, the new version is actually causing issues for me. OBS, which I'm using to record this video with, is a great example where it will break something and it's like, okay, I don't have time to figure out why or how to fix it. I just want to go back to the previous version. You can do win git dash dash uninstall previous. Um, a thing to remember with this is that some applications are sideloaded updates, meaning that it is installing a complete new program and then it deletes the old program versus downloading update, uh, update files and adding them to what you already have installed or removing old files. This can cause issues. It, it installs in a completely new package for the application and deleted the old one. It's not always going to know what the previous version is because it can only see what it has currently. So this one's kind of hit or miss depending on the program. That's one I can't really explain to you. It's just you got to try it with all the different ones. Um, but that is the one that I use the most is the upgrade all and the uninstall previous, at least with OBS, because a lot of times it causes problems. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's a lot of different ones here. Um, let's see if there's one that I use other than those two. Uh, okay, a quarry is nice because you can search specifically. So I can say, um, let's delete that. And do dash Q, comma, dash dash quarry. Oh, for some reason it doesn't actually recognize that command. Why would that be? Don't know. That's weird. Let's try this. why it's doing this well if you know the issue let me know in the comments below but if you guys like this video let me know hopefully it's a great way this is definitely good used in businesses and whatnot um, so yeah I'll see you all on the next one bye